Measuring volume of irregularly shaped objects. If you want to know the volume of an irregularly shaped object, like a rock, a piece of metal, etc., it will depend on its size. How would you do it if the object was small enough to drop into a graduated cylinder? Discuss and be prepared to describe your solution. Just fill the measuring cylinder part way up and read the amount of water, V sub 1, the first volume. Then drop in the object and make a second reading, V sub 2. Make sure the object is fully immersed in the water. The difference in the readings is the volume of the object. The volume of the object is V2 minus V1. How about if the object is too big to drop into a measuring cylinder? Discuss. How would you use this to measure the external volume of an object? Fill the Eureka can up to the top, to the point where the overflow water comes out of the spout on the top. Then set up a measuring cylinder below the spout to catch any water that ends up overflowing. Finally, submerge the object you are trying to measure the volume of into the Eureka can. Read the measurement on the measuring cylinder to see the volume of the object.